Hello, nursing students. I'm going to take you on a tour of our nursing building, Middleton, and we hope that you enjoy your stay with us and you learn a lot. This is the lobby area, and due to COVID-19, we have signs posted. Some of them, one sign might say area closed due to COVID precautions. Another one might say no more than one person per space. And then area closed on other ones that say COVID, COVID precautions. So if it says closed, you can't sit there. And we're trying to social distance six feet, six feet apart. If you walk this way, this is the downstairs lobby area. The water fountain is closed due to COVID. This bathroom here is just for faculty. There's a bathroom upstairs that I'll show you that students can use. This here is our adjunct professor's office, Men King, and um, that's where they have their office at. And then also here is the classroom 16. It's locked, sorry. I should have had it unlocked for you, but there's chairs that are spaced six feet apart as well. And this usually will probably be for the seniors because it's a smaller classroom. Here's just a copier room. And if you have trash, you need to throw it away. If you go out, out this door right here, we do have our trash bin set up here and for recycling as well. All right, we're gonna walk back down this way and I'm gonna show you the offices of the staff that work here, the faculty. If you go to the right here, you will see that we have our first office is Miss Mahaffey, Professor Mahaffey. Then we have Professor Frankie here, and she is senior level. She teaches. She will be teaching the juniors. Miss Mahaffey, and this office here is Dr. Poling's office. Dr. Amy has moved. Kaufman has moved to another office. They'll be moving the signs shortly. So right now it's just Dr. Poling. They teach at the graduate level. You probably won't have them as instructors. Unless you go to grad school. <laughs> just a quick reminder, you do have to wear a mask while you're in the building at all times. And hopefully no more than two people per elevator and we'll go up up on the elevator shortly. This is going to be Dr. Um, Kaufman's office, Amy. She'll be moving to here. This is our administrative secretary, Missy. We're doing a video for the everybody. <laughs> She's great to help you out. This is Dr. Strait's office. She's a, the chair of the BSN program. And then we have um, Professor Marsh's office here. And she teaches sophomores and juniors. This is my office, Dr. Uh, I mean, uh, Ms. Uh, Jordan, Professor Jordan, if you have any questions. I teach at the uh, junior level. We're gonna go up on the elevator. No more than two. You'll notice it says brown right here. This is the floor we're on right now. If I push the next one up, it says one. That's the next floor up, and then the last one's two. You think of one, two, three, but it's brown, one, two. We're gonna go to the first floor. It's a larger classroom. They did lock all the doors up. Um, and we will probably have our sophomores in this classroom or juniors, either or, will probably be using this classroom. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be for the juniors and sophomores will be at the top because it's a bigger classroom. This here is um, Miss Frankie. She teaches seniors. We're doing a video of uh, the facility. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is our Sims lab. You'll be coming in here for fundamentals for all kinds of Sims simulations. And we will be doing clinical days, Tuesdays and Thursdays. This is usually open for students to practice their skills before their checkoff. And we'll give, give you more information on that at a later date. This is another Sims area. It's locked up now. We're going to go down this way. Again, the water fountains are shut off. Here's the bathroom for students, for the women. And I'll show you the fellows back in here in a minute. This is another skills lab. It's pretty cool. It has the pediatrics are in here. This here is our emergency room. Sims lab, med surge, emergency room. There's two actually rooms in the, inside that. Down here at the end is another Sims lab, uh, pediatric Sims lab. It's a you can't get in there right now, but you guys will be able to view all those shortly. When you guys are here, you'll be using the Sims labs. Dr. Bosley, her office. Let me show you where it's at. the director of the Sims lab, and here's a unisex bathroom, so for male or female. These are just control rooms, you'll be going in there. This is just the entrance to the classroom I showed you on the other side. This is Doc Bo's, she likes to be called Doc Bo. This is her classroom, her not her classroom, her office, I'm sorry, I just spoke, <laughs> her office. And we will only allow one per, I forgot to put a sign here, but one per, Big deck area. We're gonna go upstairs now to the top floor. at the sophomore level and the graduate level. This is the last floor. We have a large classroom here. And juniors, will, I'm pretty sure, are going to be in this one and sophomores will be in the one below or vice versa. I'm not sure, don't write, mark that on your calendar for sure, but we'll let you know what rooms you're supposed to be in. Hopefully we'll be back in person soon. We have a faculty lounge here. We have a study area for students that could um, come in here and study. And we will be giving you the access code. It does have a code and key code on it. And no more than uh, probably four people in this area, six feet apart. And these are just storage areas. We can store all of the mannequins and everything like that. That's a really small room. So no more than one in there. That's a study area too as well. Our vending machine on the top floor. Here's the men's bathroom. So remember females, bathrooms downstairs, um, the next floor down, and there's a unisex bathroom, and then this is the, the male bathroom, the men's bathroom. And then this is just a Sims area as well, storage area. And then this is just the entrance to the classroom. So it's, you can go in either door. This is the stairs. So if you'd like to take the stairs instead of the elevator, since we can only have two per elevator, you can come up the stairs, but maintain six feet between people and make sure you wash your hands good. And that's pretty much the whole facility. If you have any questions, feel free to contact any of, any of the faculty, nursing faculty, and we'll be more than glad to answer your questions and help you get around. If you can't remember everything I said, because I do talk fast, make sure you just get a hold of us and we'll help you out, find your way around. Thank you, I hope you enjoy your stay with us.